Let's get ready for contestant number one. Contestant number one. Hello, would you stand on that yellow X for me? You can stand on that yellow X, and I'm going to stand next to you. That's wonderful. Would you please tell these wonderful gentlemen your name, your age, and what you do? Okay. So, uh, like I said, my name is Kamarne. Um, I'm a freelance photographer, and I'm 19 years old. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, would you tell them why you are a real one? Uh, I kind of do everything for myself. I look for nothing but somebody else to pour into me emotionally. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are materialistic these days, and I'm more so like um what you can do for me internally you know a lot of people aren't looking for happiness i think they're looking for financial stability and i feel like that's what makes me different because uh i'm stable on my own i have my own apartment uh i also have my own car so i don't really need anything else from somebody else but i need happiness you know and a lot of people don't bring that wow Wow, very solid answer. Wow. Okay, still no one has picked up a red flag, Marnie, which is great news. So let's try this. What are three of your red flags? Three things that someone may do in a relationship that you don't tolerate. Um, constant arguing. Like, I feel like if you're not a man and you're not having the capability to problem solve and it doesn't get to the point where we're escalating and we're arguing at each other, that's like a problem for me. That shows like a lack of um, maturity, in my opinion. And a lot of people would like attack me for it, but that's the truth. And uh, I think the second one would be like, There's no not be, huh? There's no second one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah. like that's really the main one for me. It's like being more, um, being, yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't think there is a second one. There's no more after that. Like, I'm a very simple, reasonable person, so I'm not too complicated. That's pretty much it. That's okay. All right. Still no red flag, so that means they're feeling you. That's a good thing. Let's go for our next question before I may have to throw it to them, or I might have to give you a red flag, and you may have to start eliminating, but we can go for another question before that happens. Before that happens, um, what would you say are you looking for in a real one? And a man. And a man. And a okay, man. emphasis on the man. What are you looking for in like, a man? <laughs> like, it's not age that makes a man. It's really like his mannerism that makes a man. Uh, I think that's something that I'm looking for is like ambition. I'm not asking you to be financially stable. You don't have to drive like the nicest that car. That might too. Sorry. You don't have to drive the nicest car or you don't necessarily have to have the nicest house. Because me personally, I'm going to be very transparent. Like, I have a studio apartment. It's very spacious, but it's to myself. And like, I'm not asking you to have the finer things, but just like show up for yourself. You know, I think that's what makes a man and show up for me. Like when I say I need you be there because it might not be like, oh, I need you to fix a financial problem. I just might need you to just like, like I said, show up for me and be a man, hold that space. And I think that's what I'm looking for. A man to hold that space. A lot of men can't do that. I think that they're very sensitive and uh, what is what is the word that I'm looking for? Especially with my age, I don't know how old you guys are, but there's like a definitely like a huge gap and a lot of men are vulnerable to like folding into like how they feel in the moment versus like consoling a woman and just like understanding like she's a lady and sometimes I need to have those emotions. Just let me get them out. I see. That was great. Okay, now I did see one individual did pull the red flag. Would you wave it for me just for the aesthetic? Just wave it. Uh, just a little bit. And I like that. So tell us your name, your age, and what you do, and why you're waving. My name is DJ Ball. Um, I'm from San Diego. I'm a lab technician. And um, be honest with you, um, love the way you carry yourself, first of all. First things first. That's why it was a slow wave. Yeah. Uh, love the way you carry yourself. Um, love the swag, everything that you got going on, the skin tone. Um, but my son is 20. Oh, word. Yeah. That's understandable. So you get it, right? Um, yeah, I yeah. I too, and I don't play that old deuce. She bring home somebody my age, it's going to be a problem. So yeah, I get just it. out of respect, you know what I mean? But I see why nobody else grabbed a flag. You got to no, get on your shoulders. I, I understand for sure. And a lot of people need to listen to what you're saying. And it gives me hope for the future for my son. Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. you do seem to have a really good head on your shoulders. Thank you. So, so good luck with everything. But I'm... 
I'm out the, I'm out the oh, game. Oh, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Keep your flag. Keep your flag. Keep Once you pull it, keep it. Yeah, now, I'm, I'm, I'm a little too, I'm a, I, it's my fault. No. I'm too seasoned. So some people, <laughs> some people might have followed suit. I don't know why they're throwing. I did see Sean, uh, Paul, would you share your name, your age, what you do, why you're throwing? I'm Sean Paul. I'm 35. I'm an actor and I love your mindset. I love everything Thank about you. you. I just, again, I feel like the difference in age is almost 20 years. So... Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't think we have other than photography anything in common, but I love your mindset, and I, I, I hope that you really do uh, find what you're looking for. Yeah. You. Now, before we go to the other real one and ask why, are you okay with dating older gentlemen? I am okay with dating older gentlemen. So, like, like I said, it's not the age that makes a man. I feel like it's his mannerism. Thank you for and that. And the way that he really carries himself. Like a lot of men these days don't know how to like be a man and they complain about like the one the women but there are women like like me out here who still are able to cater to you in a certain like in a certain way or in a certain desire in which you're in which you're sinking but you have to hold that space like i said like and it's not financially like for me it's emotionally like the way that you show up for me because a lot of men are very absent these days Fact. So, all right. Uh, it's not about age. Like, okay. I love that. And I think that's very valid. Um, now, would you share, you pulled a red flag, name, age, what you do, and why you're throwing? All right. My name is Devin Henry. I am 25. Um, I work at Chick fil A. I'm a manager there. Um, I love Chick fil A. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice. uh, I love Chick fil A. I love Chick fil A. And tell us why you're throwing. Um, main reason, I honestly, maturity aspect of it. 100%. You're there. Um, I think other than that, I think it's just the age. I'm 25. I like to drink. A Wait, hold on. Time out. You're 25 and you're telling me? <laughs> you're telling me that? But okay. let him explain. Let him explain. You're good. You're good. I like to drink a lot. So, you know, like me going out every weekend, I'm going out, I'm drinking. Unfortunately, <laughs> you have a fake. <laughs> That's, I 100% appreciate the fakes, but still, I think it's just the... Like I said, if it w if you were if you were twenty one, easy, Understood. easy. But all right, it's just it's just that like that age range there. Okay, For maturity, hundred percent. Thank you, Devin. We Thank did you. get another red flag. Would you share your name, your age, what you do, why you're throwing? I'm Brett. I'm thirty three. I'm project manager in the HVAC industry, and I think that it's kind of the same thing here. That it really is kind of an age thing. But as they've all said, your maturity and the way you carry yourself couldn't ask for something better. Honestly, like that's what. A lot of women should strive to yes. think like honestly yeah. so it's it is kind of the the age thing and phases of life type of deal but again it's understood you're very you gotta be very lucky to have someone that has a mindset like yours oh, awesome. that's okay. sweet thank you now it looks like vince you have a question you haven't got your red flag or are you grabbing a red flag like because i there's i slow down but no i, I oh okay i don't i don't no. Would you share your name and make sure you use the mic, share your name, age, what you do, and why you're okay. pulling a red flag? No, so my name is Vince. I'm 29. And I'm an engineer. I waved it. It's mostly due to the age. Like, I'm 29. I think 10 is a bit too much for me, but you definitely carry yourself well. And, like, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but, yeah. <laughs> sorry, but, um, but you carry yourself well. And I like that you focus on the internal rather than, the, than like, the material self. So, God bless. Awesome. Uh, you're very kind, though. I have a very strong ego, so it like takes a lot to hurt my feelings. You're you're too awesome. They they couldn't touch you. Yeah. Now we do have three that have not thrown red flags. I still see three red flags on the table. So Christian, Rish, and Br Joshua have not thrown red flags. Now, do you have a question? Yeah, I have yes. one question. You said you don't like to argue. I'm not very argumentative because I'm an introvert. Would you say you're like kind of toxic? A little bit now it depends on like the aspect in which you view it like if you view silence as toxic then maybe i guess but like sometimes i feel like if it's not the right time to approach things i won't say anything because i feel like things have to wait until later like everything doesn't have to be said right then and there so if i'm feeling emotions i feel like a lot of men uh don't know how to like hear a woman out and then things escalate that's maturity so right i feel like there's a time and a place for everything and that's what like might come off as like she doesn't care you know but i do care i just feel like this is really the wrong time for this right you kind of like hold back a little bit yeah emulate yeah everything. okay oh so you want oh all right <laughs>
Hey, the perfect okay, answer. No, no, hey, hey, share your name, Hello. name, age, what you do, and why you pulled a red flag. Uh, my name's Joshua. I'm 23. Um, I do that a little bit. Explains a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also I'm also a Virgo too. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a Virgo too, so I love to argue. I find it like fun, not like in a weird way where like I'm a like, debate. You like a debate? Yeah. So I get oh, really? it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. You probably yeah, I love should to put that flag down. Do you want to? I mean, I, okay. I, I, if you want challenge, I can give you that. But me personally, like, on a good day, nah. Like, we just got done having a good brunch. We just left. Like, we going to the house. I'm good. We going we gonna to wait till we get to the house. Now, if you, when we get to the house, if you want a good debate, I could really give that to you. Because okay. I'm from New York. Like I said, it's in my main. Oh, mm -hmm. Naturally. Mm -hmm. like I said, okay. okay. Oh, wow. Jamaican Hills, born in the Oh, so okay. I can give that's that probably. to you if that's what you want. But there's a time and a place, you know. And I feel like a lot of men can't really, like, differentiate when it's a time and a place. I'm not about to argue with you at a mall or we're out to eat. I don't think that it's the right time for that. Because I feel like I'm a lady. I should present myself as such despite, like who I am, I should not argue in a public place with a man. Okay. I don't feel like I should be seen in public arguing with my partner. Got it. So I you want to like that, you know, can I put this down? Yes, you can put it back. <laughs> now you get one chance to retract. So I don't, is anyone else retracting or? Okay. So after all that thorough, wonderful, real one connecting, uh, I think unless you have an essential question or Rich has an essential question, I might have to give her a red flag and she may have to eliminate one of the three, but it looks like you have a question. Have a question. So share your name, age, and your question. Uh, my name is Christian, I'm 33. The question is, what is a woman supposed to do in the relationship? Okay, so in my opinion, I feel like a woman is supposed to pick up where a man falls short. I feel like a lot of women feel like since it's a man, they don't have to like, oh, when he's, you know, it's a day where he's feeling the 20% and you're feeling the 80%, you don't have to like meet him in the middle or even meet him more than halfway because he's having a hard day. I feel like a lot of women fold in that aspect. And since men are the providers, I feel like you really need to be there on the days where it's hard for him, you know, because it can be hard. Like having to come up with the answers all day every day and like be the provider and like make sure everyone else is okay you and your family emphasis on the you as well so like it can't be a lot at the end of the day and i feel like that's the job as a woman also the regular cooking and cleaning and like the, the food and laundry and shit like that sorry you're good you're good but like the the regulars other than that though like <laughs> I think I think she answered your question perfectly. <laughs> you are, I don't know where you came from. Wow. He can't okay. I, that you so that answered your question. Okay. I hope you uh, did. Rich, so do you have a question by chance? Share your name, age, and your question. Hi, my name is Rish. Um, I'm 33 years of age and I look 18. <laughs> Just kidding. I have a question for you regarding your photography. What kind of photography do you do and like you know what's your genre you do wild photography you do um, portraits so i want to know about your passion what do you do you know okay so that that's actually a really good question nobody asked me thank, thank you. you um i actually do lifestyle and street photography predominantly for fun for money financially i do a lot of like brand shoots and um brand apparel things like that i'm also getting into weddings still kind of a newbie in that category would you yeah, would I'm you do a shoot with me would you do a shoot with me? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. I'm here for cool. marketing purposes. Cool. Yeah. So, um, I just want to be really respectful, but I don't want to be respectful because this is a ego massage red flag. But you're not, you're not the kind of girl I'm looking for, but you're everything I would want in a friend. So I, I don't want to give you a red flag. I want you to give me a red flag because, you know, that's so respectful. Yeah. So I'm yeah, gonna have I to pull it then. I respect so, that. And you can wave because that you for said, him. Because you said your ego, I wanna massage your ego today. Okay, okay thank wow. you, I appreciate that. Cause I'm very like ego humble. So thank you for giving me a chance to turn somebody down. <laughs> Not him. So here we go. So we've gotta make a decision cause you've given us some great real insight and which is remarkable for your age and just how awesome you are. So you have two real ones here, um, unless, uh, what, they both ask questions. Are you reaching or? I think I have to reach. I think I have to reach. Okay, so it'd be like that sometimes. Take it. <laughs> so one more time. I think you already shared your name, but name, age, what you do, and why you're throwing waving a red flag. So I'm just gonna wave a little bit. 
Yeah. Um, so my name is Christian. I'm 33. Um, so the reason why I'm waving the red flag <laughs> is to their point, you're very mature for your age. I think certain parts of your worldview may need a little bit more tweaking, a little bit more experience. I can't see how at 19 you have this overly broad generalization of men, because if I had said women as many times as you had said it, you probably would have thrown the red flag as well. Because I agree, men these days are sensitive. I'm with that, but I think that's for me to say, not necessarily for you to uh, to, to push as much. So right, like uh, my perception doesn't really like it's not really the best judgment because I'm not a man. So I understand. No, no, no. Everything you're saying is true. The passion behind it, beautiful. The conviction behind it is beautiful. I just think that you know. As I'm also bisexual, by the way. I, I feel like I didn't disclose that. <laughs> I feel like I didn't disclose that I also date and women. So, yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, it's not like me attacking men, but I definitely get what you're saying. No, it's, it's, I, I honestly think that you're honestly at your age, it would be hard to find somebody that is, is able to understand what you're able to articulate. I think that's 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 a beautiful thing. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing in a challenge. Thank you, though. It's, it's so, all right, you kept your red flag. Now it appears one individual has kept the flag on the table. Now I'm not going to force you to do anything too crazy yet in terms of coming up here and getting a real one and y'all heading out for a date. Do you have another essential question that could determine you coming up here and snagging a real one? Um, yeah. How, how long have you been doing photography? Um, so I'm self-taught. I've been doing it since I was in my 11th grade of high school. So, so like a year ago? No, I've graduated high school a, ye a year and a half now. So about like two, three, two, three years. Two, three. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Wow. Okay. I'm billboard sponsored though. I do have a wow. sponsorship Congratulations. in Baltimore City. Yeah. So I do still get my work posted from Los Angeles. I just have to submit my work. So I'm still active in the field though. That's, but so I'm cool. That's awesome. Do you have an essential question for Joshua? If not, I, I might have to have him come up here and. Yeah. Sorry. What do you do? Okay. Um, I do a little bit of everything. So um, I work for Celsius, the energy drink people. I do modeling um, and I'm also a cook too. Okay. So culinary art. Mm -hmm. You said so, the the energy Celsius, drink, yeah, the energy they're, drink. They're really addictive. Yeah, they are. They're like cracking <laughs> yeah. a can. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're really f***ing addictive. It's bad. Cracking a can. Like Lawsuit soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like for sure. For sure. But no, I mean it's cool though. It's fun. You know, I'm always I'm always meeting new people. Um always outside. Are you Not from like, LA? Yeah, I'm from LA. Okay. But I will say I, I hate it here. Ooh. You're from Los Angeles? Yeah. What part? Uh, downtown, LA. Oh, oh. I'm a wow! Boy. I was I was feeling a connection, but so tell us, tell us why you're waving the flag. So like, why are you why are you waving the flag? She's from the East Coast. She's from New York. Why are you waving? So, like, I've just had my own personal experience with the LA. There's nothing wrong with you guys, but I feel like y'all have gotten caught up in the facade of like where you guys are at. Same thing for New York. Like that's why I left there because too many people got caught up in the fact like, woo, I'm in New York fucking city. And it's like your priorities, like your ambition, it kind of all dies when all you want to do is like get soaked up in where you're from. Um, and I'm not, I don't want to make that assumption about you, but like. So do you want to ask him? I'm looking, he, I'm looking at his jewelry. Do I look like a, like, do I look like a city boy? Huh? You look yeah. like a city boy. And like, no offense, but like, I like, I like guys that like, <laughs> I don't know. That's, like, that's fair. No, that's fair. Yeah, yeah no. absolutely. And I think that's what makes me miss with like a lot of guys my age. Like you're, don't get me wrong, you're very attractive and you're very appealing, but I feel like that's the problem. Like, I feel like you won't be able to tell other women no. And I feel like it's just gonna be a waste of my, like, womanhood. Okay, well, then that means that all the red flags technically were waved. You waved one on yeah, Joshua. I did. Uh, Sorry. I do still want us to clap it up because this is a real one. Can we clap yeah. it up for her? Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Uh, I thank you for coming out. I will take your flag. I'll take your mic. You are amazing, though. So thank you for being a real one. Uh, we might have to have you back on the couch one of these days because you, you deserve a real one. Clap it up one more time for her, gentlemen. Thank you. You can head out that way. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Let's get ready for contestant number two. Wow. After that one. Oh, my God.